Hey everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. So back in November 2022, the macOS port of Ryujinx, which is the Nintendo Switch emulator, was finally released for Apple Silicon Max. And this first version of the emulator has been absolutely amazing. It's allowed hundreds, if not thousands, of Nintendo Switch titles to run nearly flawlessly on Apple Silicon Max. However, it's been nearly four months since that initial release of Ryujinx 1.1.0 for Mac, and although the Windows and Linux versions of Ryujinx are getting their updates, the macOS port is still being left behind, unfortunately. Hopefully we'll see a new version of the Mac emulator very soon. However, in the meantime, it's actually possible to build your own version of Ryujinx for Mac using the latest version of the source code. And whilst those who are new to emulation should really stick to the official releases, if you're interested in being on the cutting edge, then today I'm gonna to show you how to make your own Ryujinx build and potentially get the very best Nintendo Switch game emulation performance on Mac hardware. So today I'm gonna to be showing the full steps of building this from scratch and seeing how it performs against the original 1.1.0 release. So if you haven't subscribed already, then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac gaming tutorials. So the first main prerequisite is gonna be installing .NET. This is gonna be essential for building the actual application. So we need to get this out of the way first. So the first thing I wanna do is to go to this website, .net.microsoft.com. And when you're on this page, you can go ahead and press the download button here, or you have the download button at the top here. So here it should automatically detect your operating system. It knows that we're viewing this on macOS and it's automatically selected the x64 version. So if you want to download another version, for example, the ARM64 version that's optimized for Apple Silicon Max, then you can click that one and we're gonna be downloading this ARM64 one. However, for different environments, you might want the x64 version, in which case you can just select this button and you'll download the x64 version. So here we've downloaded the ARM64 package. So what we're gonna do is minimize this. We're gonna to go to Finder and then we're gonna to go to our downloads folder and then we're gonna find this .NET SDK 7.0202, which is the latest at the time recording in this PKG file. So here we're gonna double click and it's gonna go through the install process. Here we're gonna press continue and then install. And now it's gonna ask for our password. So just type in your administrator password and then click install software. So that's gone ahead and installed. So now we can close this. We can go ahead and move to bin. So that's deleted from our downloads folder and then quit. So what I'm gonna do is to leave a link in the description for this r slash Mac gaming Reddit post, which gives you a really good idea of how to build the latest version of Ryujinx. And we're gonna be following the instructions made by SmartCH, which is gonna help us to build the very latest version of Ryujinx for macOS. So the first thing we need to do is to open up a terminal window clicking on the spoiler icon and then typing in the word terminal. And then we're gonna select the top line here. And then on this side, we're gonna just gonna keep this on the right. So if you don't have command line tools installed already, you might need to install that first. Just type in the code Xcode dash select space dash dash install and then press return. Here it's just asking to confirm whether you want to install the tools, press the install button, press the agree button here, and then it's saying finding software and it's gonna go ahead and download command line tools. So this is gonna allow us to run the first command here. So once command line tools are installed, we're gonna follow the first step here. So we're gonna go ahead and select this gray code here, command C or control click and then press copy. And then we're gonna go ahead and then control click and then paste into the terminal window. So this is gonna make a clone of the latest version of Ryujinx on GitHub. and then we're gonna press return. So this is cloning from GitHub, just making a download of all of the files that we need in order to create a local build. Then what we're gonna do is to copy this command. I'm gonna paste this here. We're gonna change folder into the Ryujinx folder that we just created. So you can see here, we're in the new Ryujinx folder. And then we're gonna copy and paste this last line here. So I'm gonna control click here. And then we're gonna go ahead and paste this line here and then press return. So it takes a few minutes to complete the build, but we're basically done at this point once it says done here. So what we can do now is go into the Ryujinx folder in Finder and then find the output folder. So what we're gonna do is to go to Finder here. Then we're gonna go to the root of our user folder. So we're gonna press go and then home. And then within home, I've got this Ryujinx folder here. So double click. Then we'll double click on distribution, macOS, and then output. And now we have this Ryujinx file here. And what we're gonna do is to double click on here and we'll press OK. And if we go to help and then about, you can see here that this is 1.1.1. And so this is a later version than the current stable release, which is 1.1.0. Now it's gonna be a little bit buggy because it doesn't contain the latest release, which packages all of the macOS fixes. However, you might see some benefit in some particular games. Next, we're gonna set up the firmware and also the prod.keys file. 
So I'm not going to be able to provide the files for you. You should be able to pull these from your own hacked switch, or it can be quite easy to find these online. Just go ahead and Google these file names. Just be careful about files that you download from the internet. So with the firmware, what I'd recommend doing is double clicking on the firmware.zip in order to extract the folder. And then what you do is you go into Ryujinx and then go to tools and then go to install firmware. And then we're going to install firmware from a directory. Then we want to select our downloads and then the folder that we just extracted to and then press open. Here's asking us, are we sure we want to install this firmware? Press yes. And now system version 16 is now installed. So we can see that the firmware is installed here. The next thing to do is to install the prod.keys. So just go to file, open Ryujinx folder, and then we need to put the file within the system folder here. So just make sure to copy and paste the prod.keys into the system folder. And then we can go ahead and launch games now. So in order to launch a game, we need to go to add the game directory. We're going to press options and then settings. And then we need to add a game directory. So I'm going to go to my ROMs folder. I'm not going to be able to tell you where to download these games from. You can make backups from your Switch and your original games, or you can download them from the internet by searching Switch ROM and the name of the game. So here I'm going to add my Switch ROM folder and then press OK. And then it's going to populate with all of the games in that folder. So what we're going to do now is to connect up a controller. So you can use most of the Bluetooth console controllers. So this is a PlayStation 5 DualSense controller. So what I'm going to do now is just to pair this together by holding down the Option key and the Home button at the same time until the light starts to flash. And once that's flashing, we're going to go into the system settings here, and then we'll go to Bluetooth. Then we'll see the DualSense wireless controller as a nearby device. And then we're going to hover over here and then press the connect button. And once that's connected, this will become a solid light. So that means that this is now fully paired. If I close this window now and then go into Ryujinx and then options and then settings, and then I go to input, then I can change the input device from keyboard to PS5 controller here. And then we're going to make sure that it's paired up as a pro controller and then press OK. So we're now all ready to go ahead and play any Switch game using the controller. And so what I'm going to do is just to test out Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So generally speaking, the latest build, which is on the right hand side of the screen, can perform substantially better than the 1.10 release, which is on the left hand side of the screen. So here, for example, in Mario Kart 8, we're seeing a marginal FPS improvement of maybe three or four FPS. And in this victory lap sequence, we are seeing a more substantial improvement going from around 40 FPS to 50 FPS in the latest build. However, when we're running the game Breath of the Wild, this can still only run with the hypervisor mode turned off. So this is all purely emulation rather than virtualization. And we can see that the left, the Ryujinx 1.1.0, the original release, is performing around 27, 30 FPS, whereas the latest source code build on the right is performing much slower at around 18, 90 FPS. So generally speaking, the majority of Switch games on a Mac aren't gonna receive a performance increase Quite the contrary, it's going to be a performance decrease. Furthermore, a lot of people have been reporting that many games don't have the same level of compatibility. And this is very likely due to the fact that the Ryujinx team have not yet merged many of the fixes which make the macOS 1.1.0 release work, and they've yet to be merged and integrated into a full release. So therefore, if you want the standard, reliable, compatible performance, then you want to stick with the official release. And this new build might tide you over until the next Next macOS release, which I'm sure is going to come in the very near future. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Switch Gaming on the Mac is in a really exciting position at the moment. If you're interested in emulating other systems on the Mac, then make sure to check out my other video tutorials. I have an entire playlist of these on my second channel, where you can emulate systems like the PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, and plenty of other systems too. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.